So it looks like I'm back at Parsons. A pre-war loony bin that some juiced up raiders have made into their new love motel. Jack Cabot can find his father here. Locked him up real tight, he says. The mistake he made, however, was locking him up with something he calls the artifact. Some ancient thing that's been giving his father telekinetic powers or something. Who the hell ever heard of something like that? Then again, I'm learning a lot of new shit out here in the wasteland. Guess I better help old Jack out here. I'm adding that to the bill. Edward's men seem to have given a good account of themselves, but not good enough, sadly. We need to get to my office. From there, we can see how bad things really are. Okay, stick close, follow my orders, and I'm sure everything will be fine. Let's go. Huh. I'm sure everything will be fine. Be a pal and make sure that's on my headstone, would you? This place is no doubt crawling with goons. So the quiet approach is definitely going to be the best way to- Oh, wait, wait! Look alive, Cabot. You'd think a brilliant brain like him would be able to formulate a proper plan of attack! Away. Move it. I got this. Heads up. Ah! Cabot was not kidding. I'm definitely tasting pennies after that last attack. I emptied a whole damn clip into that guy and he kept on charging. Meanwhile, the scientist is trying to win a staring contest against a turret. This will go swimmingly. Sit down. As Cabot leads me farther down this winding rat hole, I can hear the panic in his breath. Are we too late to stop the old man from being released? Are there even larger rats waiting downstairs? There's only one way to find out. I hear feet shuffling behind the door. And before I can say anything to Cabot, we see Deegan. I'm not dead yet, but I don't think I can get up. You kept them from using the elevator? Yeah. I... I sent the elevator down to the basement like you wanted and shut it down. Good. Shot quite a few of them before they decided to leave me alone in here. I think... It's hard to keep track of time. Are you sure you can't get up? I could really use your help. Yeah, Jack. I'm pretty damn sure. Well, then don't worry about it. Me and your friend here will have to take care of things ourselves. What exactly is going on here? I suppose it's time you knew. It's hard to overstate exactly how dangerous the artifact has made Lorenzo. In addition to being homicidally psychotic, he has also gained enhanced strength and unusual resistance to most kinds of physical damage. He also commands a kind of local telekinesis, which appears to be projected by the artifact itself. Now. We need to get to the basement before these intruders find a way to set Lorenzo free. Follow me. Be careful, Jack. You too. There. After seeing how those raiders gave Deegan the Broderick, I found myself gripping my 44 a little bit tighter. Hey there. 
If they manage to free Lorenzo before I can stop them, it's not worth thinking about. I won't lie. I'm definitely intrigued by this mysterious like serum of his. He just played footsie with a frag mine and lived to tell the tale. Super Raiders. Gotta keep stabbing myself in the chest with these stem packs. Must be crazy to follow this guy. No offense. As that last stem fills my veins, oh, I can finally see a little bit clearer. will take us to the basement. Come on, this is the only way down. Huh? Oh, hell no! You're welcome. Is it the lights? What's causing it? Migraine's coming back. Lorenzo from breaking out of there. We need to get in there and stop them. Hello, Jack. It's been a long time since I've had the pleasure of a personal visit. Father, I will stop this. My powers have grown, Jack. The artifact still has so much to teach me. No, I can't let you out until I can remove the artifact. Let me see him. They've locked down all the security doors. I'll have to open them one by one from here while you work your way down the hallway. Quickly now! That's right. You need to shut down the containment field in order to open the door. Can't take it. I jam another stem pack in me to take the edge off. Gotta focus. Gotta get this done. And get paid. And that's it. Something in these halls feels warm, familiar. Apparently, even the simplest task was beyond your capabilities. I can feel my strength return. Now, Don't listen to my son. He's the crazy one. You know this. Look at what he's done to me. I built a failsafe into the containment grid. Switch. A Bremelin generator to manual override, and I can flood his cell with a lethal dose of Zeta radiation. Do the right thing. Open this door, and let me out. 
Please, just open the door. Think back on everything Jack has told you. Who do you think is really the crazy one here? Uh, has he been lying to me all this time? Everything my son has told you about me is a self-serving lie. That must be obvious now. Of course, it all makes sense now. To him. This is what he does. Surely you can see that. I can see. I can see the truth. I can see what you've he been doing all this time. Soon. He'll free himself and then we're all dead. Do the right thing. Let me out of here. Do the right thing. Please, just open the door. I'm gonna do the right thing. As soon as you set the Abremelin generators, I can end this. Do the right thing. Let me out of here. I can end this. Long last, you did the right thing. Hey there. Father, don't do this. Too late, Jack. Why don't you wait there so that we can have that little chat that's so long overdue? Get away while you can. It seems Jack doesn't want to talk to his father. We'll have to kill him, you know. And all the rest of them. Say I do help you kill Jack and the rest of your family. What's in it for me? What Jack stole from me, I will give to you freely. The gift of immortality. But first, I have some unfinished business to deal with. With your help, I trust. Meet me at Cabot House. I'm sure that's where the rats will... Immortality! Uh, uh, what... What are you doing to my head? That is it. I've had it with this serum. I've had it with this family. It is time to end this. Hurry. Now. Are do the right thing. Let me out of here. I'll do the right thing, all right. I turn this goddamn feel on. Just open the door. Tend to scramble your brains, old man. These mind games are over. face. I know it all too well. Staring there, wondering what the hell was it all for. Stay on your toes, Fox. For all you know, that artifact could be keeping him alive. Hmm. No such luck for the old man. Uh, Jack's not coming, is he? Needing these. We didn't have any other choice, did we? You're gonna have to decide that for yourself. I know. He would have killed both of us, of course. And then the rest of my family, and that would only have been the beginning. His crimes, back when he was free. It was only because of my family's influence that he ended up here, rather than on death row. The world now, it's a world made for monsters. Nothing stopped him. No. I've answered my own question. We truly had no choice. Looks like I'm out of a job. Yes. Without Parsons to maintain, I don't see a need for your services. Before you go, I couldn't have done this without your help. I think this is fair compensation. I won't be needing your services after this. You don't need me anymore. No. Without Parsons to run, I don't think I'll need such an extensive staff. Saving your family's gotta be worth more than that. You know, I was so close to understanding the artifact. Now that I can study it directly, I may be able to do something useful with it. Come back and see me at Cabot House in a week or so. 
All my research may not have been completely in vain. Well, I guess it's goodbye for now. Oh, you, uh... I found him like that. Just, uh... Don't freak out when you... Never mind. I should go. It said that the son will not bear the punishment of the father's iniquities. Something tells me that the burden Jack's been bearing all this time will eventually fall away. Or maybe he's meant to pay for trying to play God with that serum of his. Not that I'm anyone to judge. I've definitely done my share of damage to piss off whoever's keeping score upstairs. Why else would he leave me here? Behind. <laughs> Immortality. What a joke. Riding in this wasteland forever with no end. Hearing her voice. And never seeing her again. Maybe I didn't wake up from the cold after all. Maybe this is hell. Now, say goodbye, Sean. And they're the happy ones. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Come on. <laughs> Bye, honey. We love you.